All right, so here's how they turned out. This is going to be a little bit different video today. Not going to focus as much on the melting. Going to focus more on the pouring and what we're going to pour. Uh, we're going to do aluminum uh, is what we're going to melt. But what I have here is some cast iron. Uh, they're decorative um, uh, muffin pans is what they are. But these are actually different hot air balloons. Um, we're actually going to try pouring these uh, and see how they turn out. A little aluminum and see how, it, uh, how they turn out at the end. Also have one flowers different types of flowers you can see them a little bit better there but we'll pour these as well and see how they turn out and go from there so okay What I'm taking off here is a platform that elevates the molds when I put them on there to warm them up. Uh, it just seems like just something new I just tried. Uh, seems to be working pretty well so far. So, just melted this, cleaned it a little bit, melted it. I'll do one more clean real quick. Just the very top, nothing major. Make sure nothing's really sticking to it. Go there. Now we'll pour. Again, we're trying to do these balloons. See how they go. Got quite a bit in here. So let's see if we can't do a few of them. A little too much. See how that looks. A little different design. Well, there's a little popping, which I don't use cast iron a lot, so, but I did heat it up beforehand to make sure everything was dry. Um, so we'll see how it does we got a few in there we got four different ones we got a little bit more in here see if we can't try one more Now, I 
Let's add some residue in there. Again, I heated it up ahead of time, so it should be okay. But it's a learning experience for us. So let's see how it goes. I didn't fill one of them. That's okay. Um, we'll put this back in, put a little bit more aluminum in it, and then try the flowers next. Let these cool, put them in some water, and then we'll go from there. We're gonna do two things right now. We're gonna do two things right now. We're gonna clean this aluminum up and we're gonna to try to get those out and into some water. Turn that back on here in a second. Don't want it to get too cold, but I do want to see if we can. cool down a little bit more so while I get this turned back on I actually get some more stones put them off to the side so I can pour the flowers all right didn't know how it was gonna cool in the cast iron so we'll go from there So this time we're going to pour the flowers. We'll see how those do. If I have any left, I'm pour a cube and some of the smaller ones as well. Still got a little bit left, but let's see how those turn out. And then we'll go from there. I already have an over pour on one, but we'll see it. All right.
tried to get these out. Um, when I tried earlier, it was a little tight still in there. Try to get these out and get them in the water and cool down. I did find some air pockets in some of these, but we'll learn from them. So let's see what we can do. See how hot it is. We didn't hear it as much. Let's see if we get the rust out. Good luck with one coming out. We got a second one out. Third. Flowers like me more than the blooms. Flowers out. Put that there. See if using two of these helps a little bit. As they cool, they shrink. These didn't shrink as much, it seems. And again, these aren't perfectly cool yet either. But in my regular molds, I never have this much problem. Getting them out. Maybe that's why people don't use cast iron. Alright, so here's how they turned out. Um, the flowers actually came out of the molds a little bit better. Um, they actually look, they didn't pour them terribly. I did have a few of them that had air pockets in them that I didn't expect, so I have to work on those, but um, better than I thought. So that those turned out nice. Uh, the balloons I thought would turn out a lot better um this one has air pockets throughout um it's a very top one and difficult to get you see there's one still stuck in there i wasn't able to get those out yet um the other ones didn't turn out too bad so again i'm over pouring a little bit i've got to work on that i don't have to get it all the way to the top i can get it a little lower i need to just get that dialed in and go from there so i tried to show you a close-up of how these turned out. And really, you know, again, I'm not perfect and anything you see me doing, I'm just learning as I go along. So as you see me doing these, um, if you've done it before, you have ideas, you know, some of the air pockets, things like that, reach out, send them in the comments, let me know what your thoughts are. I think these turned out really well for not understanding how uh, it would turn out in uh, cast iron. But uh, some of these are very detailed. 
making out of aluminum. I actually had a good time with them too. Um, I'm going to try another one. These are pretty thick. I'm going to try another one a little thinner uh, in the future. Uh, so we'll see how that does. But uh, for this time, uh, I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like this channel and you like what we're doing, T and I enjoy doing it. We're going to continue doing it. So please subscribe. Hit those notifications. Our goal is to get videos out every Sunday and Wednesday. Um, so if you don't hit the notification for some reason, but you're looking for us, uh, our dream, our purpose, reach out there um, and give us comments. Let us know how we're doing and what we can do differently. All right. Thank you very much.